What's up, everybody? My name is Amol. I am the head analyst of the CryptoSomniac community. I'm also the chief investment officer of Pegasus Digital Asset Investment. Today, I put together a Bitcoin futures presentation for you guys just to help you all understand um, what the impact of the futures markets has on spot pricing. Let's get to it. All right. So what are futures? Futures are financial derivative instruments to buy or sell the underlying asset on a future date. In most future contracts, the asset itself is not traded nowadays, okay? It's all cash settled, meaning you're not actually buying barrels of oil, bushels of wheat, you know, whatever the heck they call it, gold, um, stocks, or in this case, Bitcoin, okay? Um, you can either long or short this asset. Longing would be that you're buying the asset at X price on Y contract maturity date and you are shorting, uh, meaning you're selling the asset at X price on Y contract maturity date. Again, it's all cash settled. So if the price today is 5000 for Bitcoin and it goes up to $10,000 um, you know, next month, if someone longed that, the shorts would have to essentially pay the difference in the contract price and the settlement price to the longs, okay? That is how that works. You need at least two parties to take both sides of the contract. All right, so Bitcoin futures specifically. Two players in the game right now, the CBOE and the CME. Um, the CBOE specifically has a minimum contract size of one Bitcoin. They, tra uh, they track prices through the Gemini exchange and their ticker is XBT with a margin that they allow at 35%. CME is minimum contract size of five Bitcoin, so obviously bigger um, contract sizes, so more money. Um, they track their prices through something that they call a BRR, uh, Bitcoin referenced rate, uh, that they look through for several exchanges and other resources and their ticker is BTC, and they allow a margin of 47%. All right, so what um, has the impact been of the futures markets um, on the spot pricing? All right, here's a little, little chart I drew up. On December 11th, 2017, the CBOE Bitcoin futures launched, and six or seven days later, the CME futures launched. And since then, guys, we've essentially been tumbling down. Can't make any assumptions, but obviously there's been some impact on the market and I have my own wild theories, so I'm going to lay it all out there for you guys. All right, so impact on the spot market. Why did the futures markets matter to the movement in spot pricing? My theory is, even if the futures markets don't trade actual Bitcoin, these markets could very well work with big whales, banks, hedge funds, institutions, other traders, and they can communicate and understand which way the market is being pushed and they can bet accordingly. So to understand if there is collusion of some sorts, we have to look at the setup of the market, um, the market structure, the upcoming CME and CBOE open contracts, um, the expiration dates. We also have to look at the volume data from the CME and CBOE and the COT, more importantly, which is the Commitment of Traders Reports, okay? Um, this information will essentially tell us and give us a better picture of if we know that the Bitcoin futures markets are even having an impact on the spot pricing markets. All right, so here are the CME futures contracts dates. Um, I just pulled this chart up from Twitter. Carpe uh, Noctum is the guy's Twitter name. Give him a shout out for such an awesome chart. Here is the future setup in July. Okay, I picked July specifically because I was able to find some um, COT data on it, and I'm going to show you that in a second. So on July 26, right before a nice, you know, decent bull run um, from the beginning of July till the end of July. Um, you know, we started having some FUD, uh, quote unquote, and the Winklevoss ETF rejection uh, came in from the SEC right around July 26th. And right after that, the market kept tumbling. 
But in the middle of August and the end of August, we have two um, CBOE and CME expiration dates for future contracts waiting for us. So do these match up? Do they mean anything? And um, if they do mean anything, how do we know? Okay, so I'm going to look at the COT data and I'm going to show you guys how I believe that this you know, particular structure was well set up to be exploited. All right. So here's the COT data, guys. Okay. On um, July 31st, uh, 2018, we had uh, about 2,785 uh, short contract positions um, set up. Okay. Uh, compared to the 2,248 long positions. So obviously the market is uh, slightly stacked more towards the shorts versus the longs. And this is again July 31st, so that's about four or five days. So right around here is where um, we got the, the COT report. Okay, And the CBOE um, was clearly heavily stacked in favor of the shorts, uh, almost about 4,170. Um, uh, Bitcoin because again it's a one Bitcoin versus the CME which is five Bitcoins okay so heavily stacked uh, for the shorts so what does that mean exactly okay is there an implication that you know we can say hey there was a market structure that was set up to be exploited for the next uh, subsequent CBOE and CME contracts to exploit okay so for the most part guys um, you know my belief is that this market has you know essentially been a run up from way back here um, three thousand or four thousand dollars all the way up to twenty thousand right so people the whales traders whoever accumulated here they ran the market up and when these futures launched then they started shorting the market and these futures traders could very well communicate with these guys who accumulated and they short the market while these guys are essentially taking profits and dumping their Bitcoin all the way down. Okay. Obviously they cannot dump all their Bitcoin all at once because there's probably several thousands, maybe even millions, but that is how I see it. And that is how I see the game playing out. So what does that mean to us today? Well, is there a market set up, um, market structure set up to exploit? Well, let's see. Kind of looks like it, right? Um, we've seen market structures like this before. Um, we've essentially created lower highs, right? If you look at this market, that's a lower high, lower high, lower high, lower high, and potentially another lower high waiting for us. So right now, um, as per this hammer, um, we may potentially be ready for a reversal anytime soon, right? If we're following the trend of the market and we want to create a lower high or maybe even a double top um, before we reach to this 8,500, we would probably start a reversal soon. But does the COT data match up? Well, let's see. First, let's look at the volume, okay? Here's the CME volume. I've picked CME again because, you know, more Bitcoins exchanged, more um, actual US dollars, um, you know, in terms of volume being exchanged. The September volume has clearly uh, stepped up, okay, 4,632. But which way are they going? Are they going long or are they going short? Well, let's look at the COT data. All right. COT data shows that. Um, the short positions, again, heavily outweigh the long positions, 2,510 to 1,981. Um, the CBOE data is even more so, 3,571 to the 2,099 positions on the long. So what does that mean to us, and why does it even matter? Because as we know that... Bitcoin um, is actually not even exchanged on the futures markets, right? And it's also in very relatively short volumes or small volumes rather. So are these people from the um, CBOE and CME futures exchanges communicating with the big traders and they dump accordingly? Now remember that not every single structure is meant to be exploited, 
Okay, so I don't know. Uh, I haven't looked back on every single movement of the up and down in the market to show that. Okay, um, is there a long position being set up for from the COT data for this move right here in April? Is there a short position for this move right here? But I definitely looked up, you know, in July the data for for the uh, from the COT to see the short positions as I showed you guys. And now we're here currently in um, uh, September, and we see that the COT data is showing us we have more short positions in the market. But again, we have to see you know what the COT data looks like um, in in a few days. I think they have a new report every Friday, so I think three days from now. Um, I'll have to see if these positions have moved over to the longs, if they've closed out their positions, and if we're going to keep on moving up. But again, my opinion is that I believe um, the COT uh, data is telling us that the short positions are essentially uh, revealing to us that we may be due for a reversal, but I cannot say that with certainty. Take that with a grain of salt. Um, we will have to essentially wait for uh, the next COT report to see um, if we're going to have a reversal on this market as the future shorts are stepping up or are the long stepping up and we might um, move further up in the market up here, okay? Hope you guys like my presentation. Sorry it was short. Um, I kind of did this off the cuff if you have any more questions. Uh, please shoot them my way. Um, I'm also in the Cryptosomniac uh, Discord, so come join and, um, yeah, give me a shout-out. All right, cheers, guys.